In this video, I will explain you that how investors can earn arbitrage when contracts are missed price. So if the contract is priced using risk-free rate, contracts are correctly priced, also called no arbitrage price. But if rate other than risk-free rate is used, it means that contracts are mispriced and there is an opportunity to earn arbitrage. Now assume that there is one underlying ABC and the current price of ABC is $18.18 .18 and you have to calculate no arbitrage price. So you will input risk-free rate as a required rate of return and no arbitrage price will be $20. Now assume that you have used rate other than the risk fee rate to value the contract. Assume that you have used 37%. So at 37%, no arbitrage price will be 1.37. It will be close to $25. So if the forward price is not 20 and it is price other than 20, it might be lower than 20 or higher than 20. Then we can say that at this price, there is an arbitrage opportunity available. So the question arises that how one can exploit this opportunity if the contract are selling at arbitrage price other than the no arbitrage price. Now assume that in the market, there is one contract selling on ABC stock with the forward price of $25. And another person is selling forward contract on ABC stock with the forward price of $17. As you can see that for this contract, you know for sure that no arbitrage price is $20. But if you can find contract selling in the market at a price other than no arbitrage price, it means there is arbitrage opportunity available. How you can exploit this opportunity to earn an arbitrage? Always remember that when forward price is higher than the no arbitrage price, as in this example, a person can earn arbitrage by taking short position in this contract. Similarly, if the price, if the forward price is lower than the no arbitrage price, investor can earn arbitrage by taking long position in this contract. So let's stick with this scenario and explore that how you can earn arbitrage when you find a contract selling for a price higher than the no arbitrage price. So if the contract is selling for a higher price than the no arbitrage price, investor can earn arbitrage by taking a short position in this contract at $25 and will buy an underlying ABC from the market at the start of the contract. And this strategy will help investor earn arbitrage return. One very important thing I want you to remember is that in this example, we are analyzing from the perspective of a person who wants to earn an arbitrage. So here assume that investor will borrow money to buy the underlying ABC. So basically at the start of the contract at time zero, investor will borrow money so what's the current price of the underlying? Current price of the underlying is $18.18. .18. So how much money investor has to borrow? $18.18. .18. So investor will borrow money and from this borrowed money, investor will buy the asset, buy ABC underlying asset at the market price, $18.18. .18. And to execute this strategy, investor at time zero will take short position in this mispriced contract, short at $25. So investor form this portfolio at the start of contract by borrowing money. Through the borrowed money, investor will buy ABC share, this share ABC, and will take a short position in this mispriced contract. Now at the expiry, investor will go and execute this forward contract. So on the forward contract where investor took a short position, 
on this short position investor will sell the asset for $25 so investor will get $25 by selling this ABC share to the long plus sign shows cash inflow now you have to complete this strategy by repaying the payment to the lender so you borrowed $18.18 .18 to purchase this asset so when you have to return to the lender you will also pay the lender interest amount on this borrowed money so you borrowed $18.18 .18. here also assume that investor borrowed this money at a risk free rate which was 10% so if you have to pay 10% to the lender, how much you have to return to the lender after one year? You have to return $20. So you have to return $20 to lender, which includes interest payment as well. So let's recap quickly. Investor borrowed this money, borrowed $18.18. .18. From that borrowed money, investor took an exposure in ABC stock, bought the stock and also took short position in the forward contract. At expiry, investor was already holding this stock because investor bought the stock at the point zero. So the investor delivered this stock to the long at $25. And at the expiry, investor also returned the money to the lender, which was $20. So how much gain investor made on this contract? What's the net net gain? It's $5. So just simply by executing this strategy, investor made a gain of $5, which is essentially a guaranteed gain. At point zero, investor can easily calculate the gain investor will earn at the expiry by executing this strategy. That is how when contracts are missed price, market participants can earn an arbitrage. And in this example, by taking exposure in a mispriced contract, arbitrager made a gain of $5.